Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at trucking companies that do hair follicles or urine or both. We're going to be asking if they can help you guys in the SAP program. A lot of you guys that end up in the SAP program need help with the return to duty status. And in order to do that, you will need to get with a company that is willing to do all of your return to duty drug testing. Okay. With that said, I have made the call to a lot of these companies to see if they can help you. If this is something that can help you out, make sure you hit that like button because it does help the algorithm and it does help get this information out to a lot more drivers that needs to know which one of these companies out here that will be right for them. Also, please hit that subscribe button as well. And if you guys have any suggestions, let us know in the comments below. We need to have that year, but yep, with it, having a year, buddy, we'd be in like plan. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So I'm on the website and it says, it says here, pay varies by route, location, experience level, and production. Can you break that down for me, please? Uh, no. <laughs> um, okay. Why? Well, so are you on the decks? Is it like Dart Express or Dart? No, it just says. That you're looking at. What, the, the website that I'm on? Uh, it says dartcdljobs.com. You see, there's several darts out there, okay? 216, you're in Ohio? Yes, I am. Yeah, and I'm not familiar with that particular website that you're on. Um, you know, I mean, it's uh, what we do is uh, primarily operate over the road, okay? We're 14 days out, two days back. Uh, solos are going to operate on the eastern half of the U.S. primarily if you take a swap from Minnesota through Texas, and then I-95 out of Florida going up the east side. We do not run New York City or the boroughs at all. We don't get up into Mass, Hamp, Connecticut, Vermont, that little skinny elections of this country. We may hit Albany or Syracuse, something like that. Okay. But, uh, with that uh, 14 days out and two back schedule, they're running 2,700 to 3,000 mile a week. Uh, it's all dry van freight, okay? It's 80% okay. drop and hook. So they're running good miles. Our, you know, average is at 27 to 3. Um, you know, now you said you have just a little over a year. What, what will be the mileage pay? A walking in the door with less than two years, my friend, would be 50 cents a mile. It's going to get you somewhere in that, I'll say, 1350 to 1450 a week before taxes. About 68000 a year first year. During onboarding process for the drug screening, do you guys do urine or hair follicles or both? Well, we have a DOT, urine, of course, that is required. And during orientation, um, and I'll kind of give you an idea. I'll give you an actual number, so give me about two seconds here. Looking at my orientation list, one person got random hair tests, and then there was four out of 14 in Dallas. Um, we do a random at orientation. So what our hair test is, we're not the FBI, the CIA, um, you know, uh, Secret Service. Our, the hair test that we do goes back for approximately 90 days, okay? So it does not go back for life. But if you've done anything in the last 90 days, sir, I would say don't do it. How's that for a direct answer? That's a great direct answer. Thank you very much for that. You, you did mention the fact that the experience coming in is about a year or so. One full year. All right, one full year. I cannot come in with less than a year. And my last question, sir, is do you guys accept SAP drivers? No. All right, all right. Well, thank you very much. I really, really appreciate the time. Hey, you take care. Wish you well. You take care now. So this recruiter right here for Dart Transportation, he said there's a whole bunch of ads out there. He couldn't even keep up with which one, but... I'm glad that he was able to give us some of the good information that we was looking for. As far as the drivers coming in with at least one year of experience, you guys starts at 50 cent a mile. 
And unfortunately, SAP drivers, they can't accept you. But as far as the urine and the air tests go, they just do a random, right? They do random round. But for DOT specifications, it is urine. But as far as the hair follicle goes, you already heard the numbers. Only like maybe one out of four got the hair test and it only goes back for 90 days. You guys mess over drivers and stuff like that. I, I wanted to ask you, is that true? Because I, I don't want to get all the way out there and get stranded. Like, Obviously, I'm going to tell you that no, that is not the case. Um, I mean, I know that, you know, truck drivers get lied to all the time by recruiters. I would implore you to look at our other reviews by other drivers. If you see any of our drivers, speak to them. I mean, our that is not the norm. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to just leave you guys here stranded. Um, obviously we're going to give you options on how to get home. We've worked with drivers. We will give you a ride. I mean, to the airport, if you're looking to get a rental car or a flight, or, I mean, we have paid for drivers to go home. So I'm not going to say, you know, every case is different. Well, thank you very much for clarifying that. For onboarding drug screening, do you guys do urine uh -huh. or hair follicles or both? Uh, just the urine. Urine. Okay. How much experience do you guys require? We require at least a year's worth of experience. All right. And my last question is, do you guys accept SAP drivers? Have you completed all your follow-ups yet? They are in the step six part so of the program. They're looking. For, okay. So they've done their return to duty. They're just looking for a company to take them on for their follow-ups then? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we are a SAP friendly program, but with being SAP friendly, we can only take on so many drivers at a time because of all the compliance that comes with having all those drivers on the SAP program. Um, so we are currently full at the moment. If your friend completes all of their follow-ups, uh, we can uh, take them on at that time. But right now I can't take on anyone else. I don't think we'll even have an opening until probably this time next year. Well, ma'am, thank you very much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Not a problem. Thank you for calling in. All right now. Yep. Uh-huh. Bye now. How much experience are you guys looking for? We need tw uh, basically 12 months of experience coming in over the road without a trainer. Doing onboarding for drug screening, do you guys do urine or hair follicles or both? Uh, I do not know that one. I assume both. I don't know. I can work with that department. It's part of my research. That's all. Uh, do you guys accept SAP drivers? We don't. Part of my research. But if you're not, if you're not a SAP driver, I guess. Okay, so coming in the door of about a year experience, where would I be starting at? I just depends on where you live. You'd be starting off anywhere from 60 to 70 cents a mile, depending on how long you're looking to stay on the road. How would you guys get me up there for orientation? We would fly you out here out of Columbus. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time, man. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You have a good day. Is it me? It got to be me. Is it me? I need you guys to let me know. Is it me? Or do some of these recruiters have some type of bad vibe around them, man? Eh? It's like, it's like they don't want to talk to you. Like when you ask your questions and you do your research, that's like what you want to know. And it's like, listen, my mom's always told me that a question is not a bad question. If you don't know, you ask. It is clear as day in their website. You have any questions for our recruiters? Here, call and ask. So when you call and ask your questions, why does it feel like it's, to them, it's like, like hard work? It's not hard work. You answer the phone all day and you talk to drivers or potential drivers all day. These are potential questions that drivers is going to be asking now. They still want to know uh, the base. How much are they going to get? What kind of truck are they going to drive? How many miles that they going to get? Yeah, those, those are the baseline questions. But the main questions for drivers that are in situations like SAP, like a felon, like 
anything that will probably be a roadblock for them, those going to be the questions that they're going to need answers to. Simple, straight point to the answer. Why should there be any conflict about that? Jeez, I'm not the one with the problem. I'm just asking, can I ask that? Maybe I know somebody out here that might have that problem, but I'm just asking. That's all, yes or no, that's it. The vibe is not there. It's not there, man. And I, 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 I guess I'm not the only one that feels that because a lot of you guys run into recruiters like that. That gives you some type of bad vibe, some type of being rude to you. Just because you only have a few questions, that's it. We keep it simple. I'm not trying to keep you on the phone, sir. I'm keeping it simple for you. How much experience do a person need? Do you guys accept SAP drivers? And what is the uh, and what is the drug screening process? That's it. That's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. That's all. That's all. That's all I need to know. Why is there so much of a problem? I need to know. I, I need to know the answer in the comments below. Who's next?